everybody welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here so today I'm just going to update my creative journal so I haven't updated my journal for a couple of days um, I think the last entry was uh, Wednesday 8th of May so I still have a lot of um, pages to do but I'm just gonna create a page from yesterday so yesterday was our date thir Thursday for me and husband so he wasn't doing a lot of things and I wasn't also doing a lot of things yesterday so we went out to have coffee and spend a day together so yesterday was 16th so that would be 16th of May so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so this is the page so I'm just gonna do a whole um, spread for that and we went to this very nice cafe Ex like the same view as I had from my window yesterday so I have the stickers I'm just gonna put it here so I'm just gonna say 16th I'm just gonna do the whole page for 16th and then I think we're gonna put the date right over on top of it uh, chill week for me um, there's no classes where I am for the semester or the summer break so I have plenty of time to do something that I love um, journaling being one of it so been doing a lot of reading as well so yesterday I finished a book to sit in the cafe and finished reading a book so <laughs> that's um, something that I accomplished yesterday so um, I want to use another pen that I haven't used for a while I think maybe this can't remember okay I think this one is running out of ink I guess he wouldn't know <laughs> okay let me so yesterday was Thursday okay so let's just gonna trace along the lines so this is what happens if you don't use your pens <laughs> It stopped, it just stopped working. So, last week I just lined up all my uh, new spans in front of me so I get to remember to use them instead of just you know buying every time I go to the craft store. <laughs> I don't know, um, there's something about like buying stationary supplies that makes me really, really happy. Especially those days where you know <laughs> okay so Thursday 16th I have orange then I'm just gonna use another pen I think MNG pens well I love MNG pens so I'm gonna use this pen here I don't even know if it's working but let's just see I don't have anything planned for the day I do have something to do today but uh, we'll see yesterday I planned something to do <laughs> it's in my planner husband is not doing anything it's a bit of um, it's his downtime and we don't get to spend that much time especially if he's working so I just decided to 
instead spend the time with him and today he's busy again so I have um, time to do whatever I need to do but then I just decided to sit down and journal for a bit <laughs> so what I do is oh I lost my other ruler I can't find it maybe she's around here somewhere <laughs> Okay, so I follow a layout, specific layout for my journal, and that's a two column um, layout. So, this is a label from a cookie pack that we ate yesterday. It's the first cookie that I ate since I was diagnosed. <laughs> with diabetes and I'm not I'm not supposed to eat anything sweet but yesterday I was so hungry and there was nothing in the cafe except sweets and croissants and cakes so I had the a little bit of cookie well it's not cookie it's actually I don't know what they call it like biscuits and I decided to okay try and have a little bit of it and then after I ate I felt a bit guilty <laughs> so I checked my blood sugar and it was okay it was within my range so I was happy so I decided to keep the label so next time if I'm hungry and I need something to eat I would you remember that I can have this one particular dessert or sweet <laughs> okay so then let me add another one okay I have receipts here from that shop as well so we went there two times in a row actually <laughs> it's husband's favorite and mine cafe because I think it's one of the cafes where I can have coffee that you know doesn't raise my blood sugar and that's very important for me so I went we went so we went there and check if there's something I can eat from there and well the coffee is really good so every time I go somewhere and eat at the restaurant or at the cafe I would try something that has less sugar less sugar in it and then check my blood sugar if you know it will create a spike and if it doesn't then it means that I can have something from that cafe and I can enjoy that particular coffee or food or meal so it takes a bit of um, uh, getting to know yourself and understanding what kind of food that will create a uh, drastic or extreme spike in your sugar you can't have cakes and sweets and desserts so I kind of what you call that project that <laughs> into my journal so my journal is full of sweets and desserts and something that I couldn't eat and that's fine I'm happy <laughs> okay so we're gonna put it there and then so like I said you just have to get to know your body and focus on the things that you can do food that you can eat uh, instead of focusing on you know things that oh, I cannot eat this anymore or I can't do this anymore because that's going to be very sad so 
Yeah, so and for a sticker where you get to transfer the stickers and I love how it looks because it would blend into your paper like it's supposed to be there. So we're just gonna add this one. When you're also stressed, um, there's a tendency that your blood sugar will also rise and it's not good. There you go. Looks really very nice. And then I want to add a washi over there. They call it espresso, which is espresso and orange, and that's one of my favorite um, coffee because it doesn't spike my sugar so I'm happy because after all I can still enjoy I can't have sweets or other desserts I can still have my espresso espresso which is Again, espresso and orange with zero sugar in it. Thingy, check, check. Ha! Ah, perfect. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here's our final page or spread for today. Thank you for joining me and I will see you later. Bye!